is the abstractionist so this is like a libra moon kind of like wrap up because it was like full no new moon and libra you know yeah and I know I've been crying since like cancer moon on emotionally I've just had to release like a lot <laughs> and just release a lot about what I thought about certain things relationships and just releasing this idea of perfection son this idea of sticking it out when I don't want to moving forward when I don't want to and I've come to the conclusion that I really am over a lot of living for other people. I need to live for myself. So I'm in the throes of a Saturn return on 29. I'll be 30 next year. And I just realized this is the last year I'm doing a lot of the shit that I'm doing now. And it's just because I want to live for myself. I want to have a beautiful life that I've carved out, that I've created. Um, and the more that I heal, the more that I realize, uh, like a lot of the issues I had growing up of thinking that people wanted me wanted me to be a certain way. I'm very lucky to have realized that my family has only ever wanted me to be happy. Um, wherever that may go, even if it goes outside the bounds of what they think or what they know um that and, and also just the realization that they are who they are they are where they are and i am who i am and that we're all human trying to figure this out right so a lot of just human stuff came up i decided that it was time to go for like all of the things that I've wanted within this last decade because like literally I'll be 30 next year so I won't be in my 20s anymore it's just crazy how like time flies and it's crazy how like when it comes to the things that I wanted to do when I was younger like I had it right the first time and that me trying to change morph into what I thought would be success even outside of what I thought people wanted from me, what I thought success would be, um, to get certain things that I thought that I wanted. I kind of realized that I had it right the first time. I had it right with the things that I was interested in the first time. Like the core of what I wanted. Like I've added on to that stuff. But it hasn't drastically changed in the last like 15 years. What I wanted to do, who I wanted to be, you know? This isn't a dream that isn't obtainable. That's the issue with Neptune, like Neptunian energy. I have Saturn and Pisces, so things that you want to do, things that you dream of, can be very elusive. And I came to the conclusion also that being more in my mundane, living my life, liking my beauty products, hanging out with my friends, watching TV, eating really good food that I want to eat, helps those feelings of seeking something far off, or the desire to seek something far off, it keeps that at bay. Because you're doing something. You're moving forward. You're doing something. You're being productive. And usually with Piscean energy, I'm not going to say it, but procrastination is probably a big thing for us with Piscean energy, like major Piscean energy kind of things. And it's because, you know, it's like the stuff that we want to do is kind of beyond the veil as far as like inspiration and we're not necessarily seeing the world as it is to bring these things to fruition. We're seeing it as it can be in the future with that new thing that we've introduced. 
But the thing is, if you want it to happen in the future, you have to put in the work today, you know? And so, just making sure that being in your mundane life, which is actually very spiritual, um, I think I'm getting away from the idea that spiritualism is in upper realms and spiritualism is this thing far away and this thing far above me and this thing that um, you can only access at certain times and I'm starting to get into the idea that mundane living is very spiritual. Mundane living is very divine, it's very divinely guided, it's very um, aesthetically pleasing, it's very whole, it's whole and it's imperfect perfections and I think the more that I strive for imperfection, increasing my imperfection, the more that I'll be okay with just living life and being okay with what's happening around me instead of seeking perfection because nothing's perfect and that's fine. It's perfect because it's imperfect. So a lot of Venusian energy is coming through and I really, I don't know, I really enjoy this. So that's all I came through with. I washed my hair, finally. My hair, I might do an ancestral thing and talk about my hair. Is something that I'm really proud of, even as it's kind of like weird and wonky. I'm very proud of it and I tried new products today and I I enjoy it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that texture. Look at that. Look at that. If you don't have this texture here, it's fine. I know sometimes it's like hard to relate. <laughs> but yeah. So that's all I have for Libra. New moon. I'm going for new stuff. I'll be 30 next year. The Saturn return energy is like tearing my ass out. <laughs> But I'm determined to do things that I want to do because I want to live the life that I want to live. So, alright. Thanks for watching. Watch my herbalism videos too. Peace out.